They play stupid games and try to make it seem like I'm evil. But you need to listen very closely, okay? And share this video, tell a friend, etc. People, other people, are the children of evil, right? It is evil to conform to the world. What did your forefathers do? They might have seemed nice, you know, named Buddy or something, but they conformed to the world, and the essence of that is Western culture. Who colonized the world? Who's the bell that rings the loudest when it comes to the world? Okay, so the ideas of Romeo and Juliet in their pure form, true love derived from God, no racism, no cultural imperative, just true love from God, fairness, okay? Um, basically, they're, they're the ideas of the children of um, God, okay? And they don't uh, exist anymore but me, okay? So I insist on true love. My genes say, hey, I want true love. I don't want to conform to corporate culture, skaters, you name it. Any culture that's allowed, and you all know what they are. Not just the popular cultures in high school, right? They talk about good ats, populars, jocks, you know, goths, and so on and so forth. But all the cultures that are allowed, okay? So I insist on true love. I say, hey, love me and love me for who I am. Attractive women have made it crystal clear crystal clear that they love the aspects of the devil in the Bible when Jesus said you're the children of the devil because you do your father's desires the devil desires to be popular to be assimilated okay or to be an oddball who who doesn't who, who doesn't live by morally precise justice okay the devil desires erotic desire or you know it's like the typical you know square female for example she's a devil okay she says hey you know, show me financial stability. How are you going to take care of me, right? In a, in a country where there's more women in higher education than men, or at least adult females than adult males, okay? She desires, you know, empty comments, right? Compliment her, buy her things, take her to dinner, right? Things that make her feel good. She doesn't desire moral precision because she doesn't want to die in the spirit of moral precision. She wants to live in the spirit of the world. Okay? You people are the children of the devil. You're the children of the world, not the children of the source of the sun. You look at Revelation, right? The angel's face was like the sun. Jesus' face like the sun. There's an angel standing in the sun. The sun scorches the sinners. Okay, The sun is a symbol of the source of humanity. Okay, True love derived from morally precise justice and obedience to the top martial artists. You obey the corporate elite and the cultures they allow. You have ostracized. Well, maybe not ostracized. You, you have shunned and rejected me. Okay? As individuals, as groups, you are the children of the fucking devil who even go out of their way to try to make it seem like I'm the child of the devil. Okay? This is what the essence of the children of the devil do. What did the colonists do when they, when they came across Native Americans? Said they're angry red savages. When they're the ones whose skin turns red, and I'm not racist, I'm part white, in, in the heat, in the desert. Just like the set was said that, you know, the Egyptians believed, and I'm not racist, this is what they believed, okay? Whether I agree or not, I'm going to not say in this video. They believed that the whites were the children of the devil because their skin turned red and they got moody and they were emotional like a female on her period and the period blood was red. So they said, whatever this kind of red is, it's associated with evil and acting like a, a moody female instead of manning up and saying, this is what's right. And how much money have these people spent Okay, and I'm not saying all whites are bad per se, to cover this up. They say, oh, Captain America is the good guy, right? The Black Panther wasn't thinking straight in in in, in uh, one of these movies, the Civil War or something. Okay, uh, you know they say the black guy's bad, black ball. Okay, uh, black male, blacklist. Okay, he lives in the ghetto. He'll bring you down, regardless of who's behind it. We're like the decent middle class white guys, and these guys listen to like the deep state or something, and they'll bring you down. But it's not that simple. They're actually closer to the deep state. Now, other black people are also the children of the devil. I'm not saying they're the good guys, but the worst guys go way out of their way to make it seem like they're the best guys and they always always try to make it seem like they deserve the most healthy and attractive women the children of the fucking devil a horny devil a horny devil say it with me a horny devil okay not morally precise justice you know jesus told his disciples don't take a money belt with you you know not people say i want to save the money belt but jesus said don't take a money but i want to save the money belt because i have sovereignty it's stupid
just real quickly, they stigmatized the warrior with the um, ISIS people, okay? They're, no, the Middle East is close to Africa. The Africans impressed their warrior culture on the Middle East, where the Europeans came with armor and started impressing the craft, okay? Witchcraft, being craftsmen, guild, right? The guild and gilding, okay? They, they impressed a gender-neutral kind of craftsman culture, which kind of turned into muskets and modern-day weapons, okay? It's not the same as being a warrior, a natural warrior. So when they see that kind of African warrior express itself in its uh, Middle Eastern form, they say stigmatize that. They don't want to see. Who do you think they hung the most? It was the, the guy who fought back, right? They wanted to get rid of the African warrior spirit that rejects the Hades, Zeus, satanic spirit, the fake Christian spirit from the West.